Upstart Training, Installing and Programming the X10 to UPV Bridge and the X10 to UPV Converter. Back in the 70s, X10 became the first power line carrier that allowed us to communicate to devices throughout a home. Alarm panels were then fitted with an interface that allowed the X10 command to go to a power line interface module that plugged into an outlet and send signals to light switches throughout the house. So when the alarm went off, it would start flashing the lights. Well, UPB came in and upgraded the technology. What we had to be able to do was develop a product, in this case here, the PW513, which is an X10 to UPB bridge. This takes the place of the X10 power line interface module and takes those X10 commands into the device, translates them into UPB signals, and puts them on the power line. So an A1 on command in X10 would equal a Link 1 activate. Homeowners can upgrade their systems without having to change out their alarm panels, without having to change out a bunch of devices around their home. Any controller that uses an X10 signal can now go into our X10 bridge and upgrade the signal to UPB. This is fully configurable with Upstart. The second device developed was the XPW713. This is an actual converter. So a customer can have a hybrid system. You have your traditional alarm or controller that sends X10 commands to the power line. You're finding more and more homeowners are either expanding their homes or they have old X10 devices that have slowly died over the years and they want to upgrade it to UPB signals. So now I can trade out the devices and put UPB switches in put in the converter, the converter takes those X10 commands and upgrades it to UPB signals. Homes that have new outbuildings, that have new devices that are farther away, can now put UPB signals in and run both systems together as a hybrid system. Of course, using my Upstart program, we're going to add these devices to the system. So we're going to go up to Device Add, and remember I can go here to my little shortcut icon, or I can go up to, your, to Device and Add, and we're going to place the device in Setup Mode. That means, of course, pressing the button on the unit five times. After you press it five times, the blue LED light will start to flash, and we can hit Next and find the unit and place it into the system. Now, of course, we have the ability to add a room, a device name, since we're going to be in the alarm closet. With this particular device, we'll put an alarm closet in. Now that we've added the device, we see here this was the XPW713. This is the actual converter. This will take the X10 command and upgrade it to UPB. So we can actually build a hybrid system. As we open this up, we notice you have address mapping, command mapping, advanced, and communications test. Communications test allows me to run a communication test from my PIM, the power line interface module, to the device to make sure I'm getting good communication so I can see what the signal level is going out bidirectionally. In the address mapping, this is the factory default. The factory default starts at house code A, so A1 through 16 equals our scene or link number 1 through 16. So if I hit A1 on, that's going to equal link 1 activate. A2 will equal our link 2 and if you look here to the left, you'll notice I have link 1, link 2, link 3. These are our factory defaulted links. Link 1 goes to 100%. Link 2, all off. Link 3, 80%. Link 4, 60%. Link 5, 40%. Link 6, go to 20%. And link 8 is our blink link. So if you have an A8 activate, 
for UPB, that's going to equal link 8, which is now a preset for flashing the lights. You notice in the ho other house codes, B, C, D, this is just factory default. This goes right at the scale. But you can modify this. So let's say we're using house code K1 to activate. I'm just going to modify this. I can change this to any series that I want to start from. I can punch the number in, or I can use the scrolling scale. In this case here, I'll make it number one. So I can actually have two sets of codes, K1 will equal link one, and A1 will also equal link one. And I can easily map the entire system with any series of house codes equaling any number of PCS links. And all we do is decide what X10 command is going out and what link number that's going to represent. If you're not sure about the commands, you can also go to command mapping. Command mapping lets us know the on command for X10 equals activate. The off command equals deactivate. And you can modify this. So this is pretty standard. Dim command is going to fade down. All units off. We're going to snap off. All lights on. Fade up. And of course you can modify to all the different codes that we have. Under the Advanced tab, we are traditionally sending out a link packet. This means we're going to send out an entire scene. And remember, with our system, I could have up to 250 scenes and up to 250 devices per scene. The attempts, how many times you want to send out a multi-packet to communicate. So an X10 command is received, currently under factory default, two multi-packets are broadcast with each command make sure it's received by any UPB devices. Receive sensitivity is factory default on high. I would personally leave it there because that gives you the maximum amount of output of signal strength. So after you've modified your address code, you tell the system OK, and you can either program now or program later. As long as the line is blue, we're good to go. Now let's take a look at the other UPB device, the PW513. Let's add that into my system. And of course, room and device name. Now remember the difference. The XPW is a translator. So I can have my existing X10 system go to the Powerline Interface module for X10, send out an X10 command that all the X10 devices that are existing in the home will respond to, and the XPW713 will capture that X10 command and rebroadcast the corresponding UPB command the way you've mapped it. The PW513 is a plug-in device. This takes an actual plug-in from the X10 port into the PW513 and allows me to do the same thing. But in this case, if I'm going to plug in from my alarm panel or from my controller, I'm only going to send UPB commands. So if you want both commands going at the same time, you want the XPW713, if you just want UPB, then you're going to get the PW513. This has the same address mapping, so A1 through A16, B1 through B16, link 1 through 16, 17 to 32, and of course I can modify that to have a couple of different series. I can start on link 1 through 16 on a couple of different codes, or start anywhere you want. You can modify each scene of each, you can modify each set of house codes to correspond with a UPB link and I can have multiple house codes all sending the same UPB command. Makes a very robust, simple to use system, and any X10 command now can now be upgraded to UPB. You still have the ability to do sensitivity adjustment, multi-packet attempts, and of course, a communications test.
Remember, if you do not program the device every time you make a change, the line will turn red. You can come back later and program just that device. That's by going to Network, Program All Modified. And as a reminder, after you've saved your program the first time, every time you program a new device or make a modification and program it, it will save the information. So don't forget, go to File, use Save As, and save your file. One last thing. If you forget which scene does what, you go up to Links at the top of the screen, click on Link Names, and even if you name the link, Alarm Code, Welcome Home, Good Night, Party Mode, this has the corresponding link ID number. So you'll always know which link number to use when you're broadcasting from the X10 converters. I hope this information has been helpful. If you'd like more information, please contact our technical department at the numbers below. Thank you very much for your attention. Your time is greatly appreciated.